Hey, what's up guys and welcome back to Anime King 2 and today I'm going to be giving you part 31 of what if Aizuna Uchiha was Naruto's ancestor. Remember to get this one to 100 likes as usual, share this to all of your friends in your social media platform and also go ahead and check out the brand new episode of what if the 10 tales was sealed inside of Naruto. Go ahead and check out that and enjoy and over an Anime King. I post a brand new episode of what if Naruto was neglected by everyone. So go ahead and check out that and enjoy as well guys. And later on I'm going to be posting a brand new episode of what if Naruto returned different after his training trip. And stay in tune and enjoy that as well guys. And remember if you're new and this is the first time you're hearing my voice and you enjoy the videos on both anime making and anime making too. Go ahead and click that red subscribe button and become a part of the anime making family. And thank you for all of your help and support. And yeah, without further ado, let's begin this new episode. Start the intro. <laughs> so with the last part we left off, Naruto and his 500 soldiers along with Haku raided Orochimaru base. As Naruto took on Orochimaru, his sword, Raijin Jaka, told Naruto that he was his true wielder and he has been waiting for him for a long time. As the sword erupted in flames in Naruto's hand, even no doubt his ability of the Mongeta Sharingan like the Susanoo and the Amaterasu, Naruto completely beat down on Orochimaru. As Naruto was about to end him, when Kimimaru appeared, as bones erupted from everywhere, when Naruto sliced them down, as Kimimaru told Orochimaru that all of the bases has been raided, as Nade Senju has been destroying the other bases, all of the remaining forces then enter, as they surrounded Naruto as Naruto started to slice them down, as Kimimaru took Orochimaru, as he headed off with him, fleeing, as he escaped. In the end, Kabuto also escaped as Haku came back with Naruto and the 500 soldiers, well, now 494, as 6 of them died in the battle. Two weeks then passed as Naruto went to the sound. The sound 4 and Gurin, all of them were there as Naruto arrived as he tells them that he's a new sound Kage. As they thought that he was joking, but Naruto used his Mangita Sharingan and placed them all under his control. As 3 months then passed, the people of Sound respected Naruto as Naruto told them he's going to free them from this cursed world as he told them he will stop all the violence, all the hatred and corruption and he plans to do that with his planned Valkyrie. As Nade is now 100% on Naruto's side, as Naruto was a new Sound Kage, as Naruto went to his quarters, as Tobi arrived, as Tobi was the one who was giving Naruto all the fundings so Naruto can. Give the people of Sound a brighter day, as Naruto was ready to exact his plan, his Valkyrie plan. The first stage of that leads to Konoha, and when he does this, there is no turning back. So yeah guys, that was basically the last part we left off. You guys can choose your cross place and check it out for yourself, so let's start this new episode. We start this in the morning, as Naruto had fell asleep last night. It was tired some, being a Kage. Wake up shithead said Tewai as she entered the room. She fling the pillow on his face. As she looked at him, why did she have to get the most horrible jobs? This guy in front of her was Akagi and yet he act like a normal teenager like her. As she didn't get the idea. As Naruto felt like he was squeezing something very soft. What is this he said. As he slowly opened his eyes. What the hell he said as he shot up to see Tewai in front of him as his hand was on her chest. Trying to take advantage of me, your highness, she asks, with a smile on her face. As Naruto's face turned red, as he quickly removed his hand, he would be damned if he was flustered around her. He had seen Snade's chest and it didn't bother him, but this girl got on his nerves in a friendly way. His genjutsu had made her his comrade, letting her forget her loyalty to Orochimaru. But the jutsu didn't suppress her personality or personal memories 
only the part about him. Sometimes he wished that he had done something about that. She kind of reminded him of uncle, yet uncle didn't speak this way. Everything this girl said, she always cursed. As Naruto flicked her on the forehead with a smile on his face. Your girlfriend want to see you. Damn that ice bitch for ordering me. Teoya said the last part quietly. Aw, Teoya, I'm hurt. I thought you were into me, Naruto said. Shut up, said Teoya, as her cheek blushed pink. As Naruto leaned towards her and whispered in her ear, Wanna have a fling? he asked. But she smacked him across the head as she then exited his room. As he shook his head, hmm, things were fun in his new life now, as he was good friends with the Sound 4. Gurin trusted him. She was now an elite soldier, as for the others who was a part of the SS Guard. Although he got quite annoyed when they always tease him with Haku, his already complicated, strange relationship with her. Haku wasn't better in either. She didn't make any advances on him, but her attitude and constant teasing was extremely hard for him to be loyal to his one true love. Just thinking about Kurenai made him sad. The judgment day was approaching very fast and he would have to ask her that deadly question. Part of him wanted her by his side but a part didn't. And only after he got her answer will his agony end. But before that he had someone else to aid. Time skip, Karen got a smile on her face when she sensed a familiar chakra coming towards her. She had the ability to read people chakra signature and this one had a mixture of good and bad. She was one of them from Urchimaru's true forces that joined him willingly. Yeah, she did like Urchimaru, he offered her a orphan, a home. But the things that pedophile did to her still sent shivers down her spine. As she winks when she saw the marks on her body, evidence from the experiments done on her. Never had she thought that Bina Uzumaki would be a curse in this world. She even had to torture people because of him, which she hated, but she would get her revenge on him. She still couldn't believe she found a member of her lost clan, although he was oblivious to her true lineage, plus those sexy Sharingan eyes and that handsome face. The cold look that he gave her while scanning through her records made her blush all different shades of red. She was definitely into bad boys and Naruto Uchiha was a prime candidate of her affections. The fact that he partnered her crimes was another reason why she liked him. He even permitted her to help him take revenge on Urchimaru. Looking at the vial in her hand brought a smile on her face. The look on Urchimaru's face when he finds out that his precious vial has been taken from him. Karen, have you finished it? Nerta asks, snapping her from her daze. As Nerta merely rolled his eyes when she blushed as she saw his face. Only now he realized how annoyed Sasuke must have felt back in the academy when those fangirls always bothered him. Karen was a fangirl to him for reasons unknown to him. Unseen her past actions with Urchimaru, he wanted to bring her to execution as well. But her skills, as her lost arts, her special abilities, that was the only thing that saved her. He needed those powers for Valkyrie. So he tolerated her. I Naruto, see, I told you I could do anything for you, she said, giving him a wink. Are you sure? It's very important that this work, or else I'll put your head on a spike, lie Naruto. As she adjusted her glasses. Trust me, it will work Naruto. I was the one who helped him develop this in the first place. But Naruto then glared at her. I'm sorry, she said, as she realized what she just said. As he then turned and walked away, but she was still smiling as she watched him walk away. Time skip. Haku was watching the village. As she looked over the village of Kanoha. This was the most beautiful village in all of the nation. Huh. It hasn't changed a bit said Naruto. It has been almost a year since he fled from this place. He had left and he vowed to protect it with his last breath. And now he's here to destroy it. What an irony. There is thousands of ninja here. I can hardly see any weakness in this village armed forces. Said Haku as she saw a cruel smile appear on Naruto's face. Everything has a weakness, Konoha weakness is my existence. As he saw several familiar faces. It's time for one last reunion he said. Time skip. When Haku first saw the village he thought that he would take her to some of his favorite spots. But no, they were in a graveyard with two gravestones beside each other. 
one of them Mark, Minato Namikaze, a hero and a true leader, Kushina Uzumaki, a pro Kunobichi and a good friend. She did know that someone named Minato was a fourth leader of Konoha and if this Kushina woman was buried beside him, she must be something important. They were my parents, Naruto said. As Haku eyes went wide, as she glanced at the image of the Fortokage face on the mountain and then looked back at Naruto. Y you she said, I know you love me Haku and it's because I respect your love. I will show you my true story, who I was and why I became this way. Why are we here Naruto? Konoha is the last place you should be. If they catch you now they will kill you Haku said. We are here to kill the people known as Naruto Hatake and Naruto Uzumaki. After tonight they shall vanish from this world and only Naruto Uchiha shall remain. You want to strengthen your resolve. By getting rid of your past, she asks. It's never easy to turn your back on everything you once stood for. This place was my home. I grew up amongst these people. I have friends and family here. And there is nothing I can do or say to change that. It's a part of my life. There was a time where I would have died for this village. I can't believe you love this village after how they treat you for being a Jinjulki, said Haku. Snavi had told her about this truth and after that day she could easily understand why not to betray Konoha. The worst villains in history were once great heroes. My story is just the same. By turning against the village, I have become a hypocrite and a traitor for everything I once stood for, he said. Then why did you do everything until now, she asks. What do you see around you, Haku? As Haku looked around at the graves, they are ninjas who die in the line of battle. The fort was considered the greatest of all, Nerta said, as he clenched his fist at that. As he then grabbed her by the waist, as they shunned Shane to another area. When her vision cleared, she found herself standing on a barren field. There was nothing but dirt and stones, with a few trees. It seemed like an abandoned forest. Where are we? Haku asked. You're currently standing on top of the ashes of 419 heroes of Konoha, ninjas who fought, bled, and died for the Leaf Village over the past decade. The best soldiers of this nation and my comrades, said Naruto sadly as Haku saw how devastated he was. Whatever this place was, whoever these people were, they were quite important to him. But the only ninjas who ever received such bad burials were Anvu. As Haku turned towards him, I am Naruto Uchiha, captain from the 11th division Anvu squad, Root, Naruto said. What? Haku said. How could he hide such a thing from her? He was a secret operative of this village? Then it hit her like a freight train. How Gato rain over a wave ended right after Naruto arrived. It wasn't even a few days since Naruto arrived as the Konoha forces came and captured Gato. The entire matter with Orochimaru. As everything clicked, you were sent to hunt Orochimaru or join him and report back to the village as a double agent, said Haku. As a smile came on Naruto's face, she wasn't just smoking hot, but she had a brain to back it up, just like her and I. Just listen to my whole story and then make your decision. Whether you still want to love me and stay by my side or just leave. If I wanted to betray you, then I would have never tell you this, he said. Why are you telling me this now, Haku asks. As Naruto glanced at the shining moon in the sky. The power of kings makes me lonely. Today I have everything I ever desire. Money, power, respect and love. But on the other side, the people who I wanted to share this happiness with are dead and not by my side today. As Haku turned towards him completely, show me, she said, as his eyes activate, as she looked into his mongetio, as his eyes start to spin, as Haku witnessed everything, time skip. Hirzon was now stepping back into his office. I'm getting too old. I have to answer the call of nature a lot lately, he said. Huh, getting old, Gramps, said a voice, as Hirzon's eyes snap wide open. As he just noticed a sensation in the office, someone was in here. If it took him that long to realize, that only meant the person in here was a deadly shinobi. As his hands quickly crept down towards a kunai pouch hidden in his robes, 
as the person was sitting down in the darkness of the office, as Hirson then saw Sharingan eyes shine at him, Naruto, he said, a cold breeze blew inside. At Hirson, no recognized Naruto's face, but those eyes, those eyes were not the one that he had seen when Naruto left the village almost a year ago. Gone was all that little innocent in his eyes. Hirozun had seen that look before, that look in all eyes of Root Anvos. What have I done, thought Hirozun. Was this the same little boy who he had saved from a mob all those years ago? It's been a while, Hokage, said Naruto. As Naruto clenched his fist, but he released it, he had trusted this old man, did all of his dark work, and did everything for him, but in the end, he just used him, just like Donzo. Hirozun tried to walk towards him, but Naruto raised his hand as Hirozun stopped. Naruto, said Hirozun. I'm dying, said Naruto. But I sent Snadi to find a cure for you. The virus, he said. It's far too spread inside of me. There is no cure. I am here to complete my mission and fulfill. One last promise, Naruto said. No, we will get you some help. I can't let you die after everything you have done in this village. As Naruto fists clenched tightly. If the best doctor in the world couldn't save me, then you must accept that this is the end for me. I am the last of my kind. Let me join my brothers. Tears came in Hirozun's eyes as he realized Naruto wanted to join his rude comrades. His eyes show how tired he was, how broken his heart was. Orochimaru was ousted by the people of the sound, and the second, sound Kage. Akage? said Hirozun. Orochimaru tried to resist, but at first, even though he's a sonin, he's not strong enough to take on the entire wrath of a nation. The things that Freak did, you should have killed him when you had the chance, Naruto said. As Hirozun averted his eyes, I wish I could change this, said Hirozun, as Naruto gaze hardened. Well, let's just hope you learn your lesson from the past. Every Hokage made mistakes, but the sad part is that you never had to suffer. Because that curse ever fall on people like me. Me, my root brothers, Itachi Uchiha, and the people of the sound. I, as Hirozun stuttered, Orochimaru Naruto said cutting him off, had started to use people's body as vessels. When he fled from the sound, he ran straight to the Fire Nation, and is hiding somewhere. I cannot follow him, because I am wanted in this nation. You will have to have your Anvu sniff him out, Naruto said. He's here, said Hirozun in disbelief. He plans to attack Konoha and has an army hidden around our borders. His objective is to assassinate you by any means necessary. There is also a spy under him by Kabuto, who Orchimaru will send to gather information. And Kabuto is a registered ninja of this village. He has been working for Orochimaru the entire time. Kabuto? How could Hirozen said? That boy was merely a genin and was so friendly to think he was tainted by Orochimaru. I still have a few weeks left. I will continue to keep my eyes and ears open. Orochimaru, trust me, this might just help me gather more information to help you guys. Is the village ready for attack? Naruto asked. As he narrowed his eyes, no, we're not. Hosting the tuning exams has stretched our resources to the maximum. Jiraiya is still around, so we're not completely vulnerable. Naruto, I want you to come back. Your mission is over, said Hirozun. As he saw the boy looking at him with those sad eyes. You and I know that I can never return home, unless you're gonna reveal all of the little dirty secret that will destroy this village and make my comrades sacrifice pointless, said Naruto. That is not, but here's almost cut off. It's alright, Gramps. I knew I was just an asset ever since my birth. When my own parents never hesitated to sacrifice my life for this village. You shouldn't have a problem at all. I have made my peace. Minato and Kushina love you. And they wanted you to be seen as a true hero. The hero that you truly are, said Hirozun. And was I viewed as a hero? Nerta asked. As Hirozun didn't say anything. As Nerta smiled on Hirozun, didn't have an answer for his question. It's quite ironic my parents will remember as the greatest hero of this village, but I was never acknowledged as their child. I have worked in the shadows my entire life for this village, never expecting anything in return. I shall continue to do so to the end. Give Konohamru and Emiko my regards. Goodbye. A lone tear slipped from Irson's eyes as he watched Naruto vanish. 
Meanwhile, Kakashi was walking through the street as he was going home with his book in his hand. He then smelled something, a scent, an aroma which he thought he would never feel again. As he shut his book, as he started to hop from rooftop to rooftop, as he felt another person beside him, as the person was running beside him, Kakashi, do you feel it? Uncle asked. Yes, said Kakashi. In a matter of two minutes, they reached their destination and saw a scroll laid down on their doorstep. You shouldn't have come here, said a voice. As they look across the roof to see a boy, blonde here wearing a strange outfit. As Uncle couldn't believe it, as Kakashi just stood there, his one eye wide open. As Uncle rushed forward and grabbed him, as she hugged him, as he hugged her back, neither of them care what they did in the past. I missed you, said Naruto. Kakashi picked up the scroll that was on their doorstep. It didn't look special, but if Naruto risked so much in coming here for giving him this, it must be important. As Kakashi gave a light hug to Naruto, what's in it, he asked. As Uncle then punched him, making him wince. As Naruto chuckled, as she had a sad yet happy look on her face. As he looked at Uncle, I told you one day I would free you from your curse. As Uncle Han went up to her neck, did you really do it? She thought. Inside, you will find a seal in Jutsu that cancelled the cursed seal, which Archimar placed on her. The reason we failed to remove that mark all these years is because we didn't have the key to remove it. And what is it? asked Kakashi. Archimar's blood and a part of his DNA, said Naruto, as the two of them flinched on hearing that name again. As Uncle started to cry, 10 years she had suffered with this mark. And now, as she looked into Naruto's eyes, as she remembered the promise he made to her all those years ago while they were eating Dango, that he will free her from that mark. I have to go, said Naruto quietly, as Uncle was just about to speak to him. No, you can't. I won't let you, she said. As she grabbed his arm. Uncle, he can't stay. If not for your sake, he would have never stepped inside of this village. Am I right, Kakashi said. He was the only one who knew who Naruto truly was except for Kurnai and know why he did all of this. But Anko could know that and Kakashi knew it. As Naruto gently removed her arm as he turned around. Wait Naruto, Anko said. Forget I ever exist. Goodbye, he said. As Kakashi watched Anko try to grab Naruto as he vanished in a swirl of relief. As Kakashi was also heartbroken, there were so many things he wanted to say. And he was sure that Naruto wanted to say the same. But this was not the place or the time. As Anko break down and start to cry, as Kakashi comfort her. As Naruto stood on top of her roof by himself, with him telling Hirzun, there was no doubt that Hirzun will send Jiraiya to eliminate Urchimaru. And Hirzun will be the only one left. And after his fall, the village will crumble. Not only had he fulfilled his promise to Anko, but he also further advanced his war against Konoha. He had created confusion by spreading incorrect information and he will strike from the shadows like a true anvil. But now came the hardest part as his eyes shifted towards Kurnai's apartment. Could he really go through with it? Could he truly tell her the entire truth? I guess I have to find out he thought as he vanished in a shunshin. As he appeared beside the door, he then knocked. Kurnai blinked the sleep out of her eyes. As she walked towards her door, as she looked at the clock, it was 3 o'clock. As she opened the door, even in the darkness of the night, the glow of this person was enormous. If silky blonde hair was brighter than ever. It's been a while, Kurnai, said Naruto. He was surprised when she grabbed him instantly as she pulled his scarf down and kissed him. A small chuckle escaped from his muffled mouth as he kissed her back. How much he had missed her during the past three months. Realizing where they were, she quickly pulled inside the apartment and closed the door. She then break the kiss. I've missed you so much, she said. Likewise, but you did put on a few pounds, he said. What? said Kurnai. No, I'm perfectly fit. As she started to look at her body. As she then saw him chuckle. She slapped him playfully on the arm. As he acted like that little blow hurt him, making her roll her eyes. She couldn't help but laugh, his little, annoying hubby like this, always kept their rocky relationship alive. Where the hell have you been for the past three months? No letter, you simply vanished. Do you even care how worried I was? Asked Kurnai, 
but he cuffed her chin and silenced her with a soft kiss. Sorry, on Wu stuff he said, as she pouted like a little girl as her cheeks flushed. That's not fear. How can I stay mad at you if you keep on doing things like this? As Nurtudin saw pictures of Team 7 and Kakashi, as he stepped forward, Kakashi was not a part of their unit, yet he was still there, as Kurnai stood beside him. It's been a year, said Naruto. Kurnai, I have something important to tell you, said Naruto, as she didn't remember she had something important to tell him as well, that she didn't tell him during their past meeting. Naruto, I also have to say something to you. Something really important, she said. Okay, go first, said Naruto. No, it's okay. You can go first, she said. But he shook his head. No, go ahead, you first. As she sighed, as she led him over to the couch. Naruto, what do you remember about the root massacre mission? Asked Kurnai. As she saw his calm expression instantly shift. Where are you going with this, Naruto asked. Just listen to me. Promise me, you will hear what I have to say. Fine, Naruto said. Kurnai sighed in relief when he listened to her request. This was going to be hard and she didn't want him to blow up at her. Do you remember a young child? A root girl? I don't know what you're talking about, said Naruto, as he clenched his fist tight. I understand, but it's not your fault that you can't remember. There was a girl that night. Her name was Ren. As she saw his eyes twitching. Maybe, I don't know. What does this got to do with anything? Get to the point, he said. Making her flinch, but he didn't feel any sorrow for her. Ren was the most sensitive topic of his life. It was a sharp dagger that was stabbed into his heart, making him feel pain that he couldn't even imagine. She may have been a clone of him, but he had felt a connection to her. She was his blood, his family. And Donzo ruined her life from the day she was born, turning her into a weapon of Kanuha. Listen to me carefully. Ren was your daughter as she closed her eyes. As she couldn't look at him right now. How fallen and broken he would be after he heard he killed his own daughter. A child he never even knew. No, I cannot leave him alone when he needs me most, she thought, as she opened her eyes. But what she saw shocked her to the heavens. He was smiling. A sinister smile. So, you know, that's a shocker, he said darkly. A mysterious chuckle escaping from his lips. As Kurnai felt the hair on her skin standing up, looking in his eyes as an aura was being released from him, the entire place was ice cold. I must admit, I didn't think that Hiruzen had the balls to admit his sin to any other soul. Tell me, how did you come to know this dark secret? It was Kakashi, he got the truth out of the Hokage, she said stuttering. Leave it to Kakashi to do something smart and cunning. You don't know how much is truth, this realization of yours had made my confession very easier. What do you mean? asked Kurnai. We will get there. But first, I want your opinion on this. Did you know that the Uchiha clan was assassinated on here's an orders? That the Uchiha's were so pushed back like me that they want to rebel against Konoha, but Hiruzen and Donzo and the elders manipulated Itachi Uchiha to wipe out the Uchiha clan to save their sorry asses. Konoha encouraged Ruth in the second and third shinobi wars, but only after Donzo started to gain more power and threaten Hiruzen, Rain, did he took steps to disband Root. Till that moment, Hiruzen found it alright to let Root turn children like me into monsters. Hiruzen knew that Urchimaru was conducting on children and experimenting on them, but only when things got worse. He tried to kill Urchimaru, but in the end he let him walk. He let him leave. Why? Because he loved his student and he couldn't do his goddamn job as a Hokage? Few years later, Hiruzen, things came back to bite him in the ass. Donzo grew more powerful and planned a revolt. Orochimaru planned to destroy the village. So he used me. He used me. Kurnai was shivering by the time he was finished. Looking into his eyes made her even more scared. Something was wrong, she has never seen that look before. And the funny thing is, I didn't care that I was being used. I thought, everyone hate me, might as well take this suicide mission. All I want was things to change and I sacrificed everything for it. My life, my family, my love, everything. I mass murder my friends, my comrades. And then what happened? 
They stab me in the goddamn back, he screamed. Naruto, calm down, we can talk, said Kurnai. But she took a step back when his murderous Sharingan glared at her. Talk? You think I'm going to sit down and talk after what this village did to my daughter? These bastards try to erase her existence from my mind. Hiruzen think he can get away with anything, but not anymore. I'm gonna destroy this village. I'm gonna destroy this entire system. Kurnai couldn't believe what she was hearing or seeing. This was not her Naruto. This was something else. Was all that calm, collective aura of him a lie? Was he always like this? So much miserable. So much pain. As she collapsed on her knees. Stop it, she said. As tears rolled down her eyes. As the dark aura vanished. As she looked back. She looked into his eyes. His eyes were dead. Devoid of dreams, devoid of hope, devoid of desire, he was a dead man who had nothing to lose. I have said what I wanted to say. Now, let me hear your answer. What answer, she asks, whether you would side with me and help destroy this village, or will you remain loyal to your home? Make a choice, Kurnai. She instantly got up. Slap. As she smacked him across the face. As she smacked him three more times. Give him back. Give him back. Give Naruto back, she screamed. As her hands clenched his collars. As she cried tears of sorrow. This is who I am now, Kurnai, Naruto admitted. I know you have been done great injustice. But there has to be some other way. Naruto, you cannot blame the village for what Hiruzen did. Plead Kurnai as he looked at her with a betrayed look in his eyes. Not hold the village guilty? After everything they did to me. My comrades. I hate this place so much. I hate these people. I want to see them burn alive. To make them feel the same suffering. They made me go through. As he grabbed her hand and pushed her away. As he stomped across the room. Walking back in front. All the rage coming back to this place. Was too overwhelming. He wanted to shed blood. He wanted them all to pay. He wanted it to burn. He needed this, he needed to vent out all of his anger, or his heart will explode. It's over Naruto, it's over, Kurnai said, as she tried to hug him, but she shoved her away. Like hell, I'm not some goddamn machine, who you can turn off as you see please. I am not a weapon, I'm a person just like everyone else. A human, who did everything possible to be accepted, but all they did, all those bastard did, were treated me. And judge me badly. Who the hell gave them the right to treat me as a freak? Who the hell gave my parents the responsibility to seal that damn monster inside of me? You ninjas kill for your country. You kidnap, you murder, you do everything. And then you all goddamn judge me? Push me around like I'm some goddamn animal to fight your wars and all that. And when you're done, you toss me a goddamn side? You don't mean that. Please no, said Kurnai. This world is rotten, and those who are making the world even more rotten deserve to die. Someone has to change it. Why not me? Kurnai, you cannot understand how messed up this world is, because you are fortunate not to understand the true nature of the shinobi world. This world cannot go on like this. This is not the way. Not everything can be about revenge. Not justice, said Kurnai. You're goddamn naive. What can you possibly change from this world from the inside? Even if you can, it will be pointless because violence is the only thing that lives in this world. Valkyrie will be the salvation this dying world. Curve 4, said Naruto. What is Valkyrie? asked Kurnai. His Sharingan spin. As she got the image in her brain, it was like an imprint. What Naruto has done in the past 3 months and what he was planning to do. And what his true plan was. When he was finished, she collapsed on her knees. Her betrayed eyes looked at him with anger, disbelief and hurt. You won't do this. It's not too late. Come back to the village. Come back to your friends. Come back to your family. Come back to me, she said. I am done taking orders. Now, are you with me? Or are you against me, he asked. This plan is insane. You will destroy all peace in this world. Stop this right now, she said. There was never peace in this world. Just a fake word called peace. That was never true peace. Destroying is the easiest way, but it's not right. If you want to change something, 
try to work within the system and change it from within. Everyone, all of your friends, your families will help you. I have a family now. I am the leader of a village. And this is just the beginning, said Naruto. Naruto, for the last time, come back. Forget everything. I will do whatever you want, but please come home. Please, she beg. Are you with me or not, he asks. For a moment, her pleading eyes did her best to change his heart, but he never quit with that glare. As she closed her eyes, when she opened them back, he remembered those eyes, those look, on the night that they met at Wave. You've become a monster and I will stop you. I will save you from your madness, she said. As Nerta smiled, as she was surprised, as all anger vanished from his eyes. I knew I was right about you, Nerta thought. Kurna loved him with everything in her heart, but she was also a person like him. She had her own set of ideals and belief, and he knew it, she wouldn't change. She wanted to expand the light in this world, but he wanted to completely destroy everything and create a new world. Naruto, said Kurnai, as she could only imagine what he was feeling in this moment. She was the last person of his old life that had a connection to his heart, and she remained by his side when the others couldn't. As he moved forward, as he planted a gentle kiss on her lips, as he then pulled away, as she saw those looks, you're not coming back, are you, she asked, with a sad smile. I have loved you madly, and I will always will. But just like you, I have a goal. I have people who look up to me now, a family to protect, a new world to build. Wipe these memories from my mind, she said. I cannot protect my village if I love you more than the village. Wipe away everything. Last time it was you who tried to manipulate me, but I am asking you to do this now, she requested. It was selfish of her, but she knew it. It was the only thing to do. She couldn't stop him if she still had these feelings. She couldn't fight him. He looked in her eyes as he saw her real intention. She was as stubborn as him. I see, Kurnai. You're also trying to do the same thing. As you wish, he said. As she saw his eyes change into a lightning bolt, his eternal mong get you. As she was caught in his eyes. Naruto Uchiha commands you to forget everything that happened between us in all these years. As he casts his most powerful genjutsu, erasing everything including their current encounter. Everything was stored inside of a layer in our brain, protected by many shields. No human can ever break this, if they didn't have the same ability. The soldiers were the same thing, they too had their memory altered like her. They believed that all of them had served beside Naruto for years and was his loyal soldiers. Kurunai would believe that she never knew him or met him. She was a loyal ninja of Konoha, one that was disgusted of what he did murdering Anvu Black Ops and stealing the scroll. Therefore, he became a traitor in her eyes. As she collapsed on the floor, as she passed out, overwhelmed by everything. But guys, and be in this episode right here. If you want to see the next part of this, you already know what to do. Like, subscribe, comment down below, and turn on the bell notifications they posted. Remember to share all of your friends in your social media platform. And yeah, guys. Go ahead and check out the new episode of What If The Ten Tail Was Sealed Inside Of Naruto. And over on Anime King, I post a new episode of What If Naruto Was Neglected By Everyone. And stay in tune for What If Naruto Returned Different After His Training Trip. But for now, I'm out of here, guys. Peace.